All right, so in this software showcase, I'm going to be showing off the software iFuse. iFuse, as it describes itself, is a Fuse file system implementation to access the contents of iOS devices. So what we can do with iFuse is mount our iPhones to our Linux computer and then access some of the files. I say some because in order to access the root of your iPhone or iPad or whatever device you have, you have to be jailbroken. So I will leave a link in the description to this GitHub repository. Um, now the way that you can install it is either by getting it off of your your system's um, repositories. So if you're going to grab it from the AUR, make sure that you grab iFuse Git. I say iFuse Git because that is the latest version of iFuse with all of the uh, latest patches. If you grab the binary, you will be behind and there will be a lot of uh, broken stuff and bugs. So make sure you grab ifuse.git. The other way that you can install it is by git cloning the repository, cd'ing into it, and then using uh, the autogen sh. So since I already have it installed, we're just going to take a look at it. So. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is make a directory. So we're just going to make a directory called iPhone. And then after that, we're going to type iFuse and then the name of that directory that we just made. So it looks like we are locked out. And that is because, I'm actually gonna take a screenshot here, we need to trust our iPhone with our Linux computer. So we're just going to put in the passcode and then we're going to try that again. So iFuse iPhone. After we CD into our iPhone and we open a file manager, you will see that we have access to some of the files on our iPhone. So we can access the photos, we can access some of the iTunes folders, we can even make our own folders and create documents in them. Now, I'm not actually going to do that because I don't need to do that at the moment. Um, but Chances are you probably want a proper drop-in replacement for iTunes file sharing uh, for some of your applications like VLC or maybe FUBAR. So I'm going to show you how you can do that. So we're going to CD out and just for the sake of linearity, we are going to uh, make a directory of the file system, the file system, the documents we want to look at on the specific app. So we're going to make directory VLC and then we're going to type ifuse and then dash dash documents and then the bundle ID of the application that we want to put uh, that we want to access the documents of. So in this case, VLC is org.videoland.vlc-ios and then the directory that we want to mount the uh, iPhone into. So once again, ifuse dash dash documents app bundle ID, and then directory that you want to mount in. So once we do that, we should be able to CD into VLC, and we will have access to the VLC applications documents. And once again, we can, you know, we can make some folders, and then we can, of course, drop some videos and music in here that will show up on our iPhone. But that is it. That is the basic gist of iFuse. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you. Once again, resources will be in the description. If you need any help, please feel free to leave a comment. And if there's any issues that you have with it that are exclusive to the project itself and you know and are sure of it, make sure to give a very detailed description in the issues category of the GitHub repository. Uh, with that being said, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.